Sunday, September 11th will mark the 15th anniversary of the terrorist attacks on American soil, where thousands lost their lives in New York, Pennsylvania, and at the Pentagon here in Virginia. Our next guests are taking part in a special program at the Virginia War Memorial that will honor and remember those who lost their lives on that tragic day. Dr. Clay Mountcastle from the Virginia War Memorial is here along with Chief Randy Carrasco from the United States Navy Recruiting District in Richmond to tell us all about Virginia's Patriot Day ceremony. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks morning, so much Dr. for coming in. Good Dr. Morning. Randy, appreciate that. Thanks. Uh, tell us, Doctor, can you believe it? it's been 15 years? Uh, we're on the doorstep of an anniversary that uh, a lot of people will remember. Greg, it, it's really hard to think that it's been 15 years, and then in some cases, uh, so much has changed. I mean, it, it's a day, day that changed the world for just about all of us. And uh, what strikes me the most is uh, we have uh, students starting college uh, in these years that did not experience that day um, themselves. And so they have to just hear about it uh, as they've grown up. And so uh, it is hard to believe sometimes that it's been 15 years. And that's, I think, why we you know, go to work every day knowing that what we do is important to try and keep people's mind on what happened and remember these things. Yeah. Chief, the U.S. Navy is taking part in a, a very special ceremony at the War Memorial. Tell us how uh, they're going to be participating. Well, you know, um, as far as uh, NRD Richmond getting incorporated with the Virginia War Memorial, uh, to do a flag re retirement ceremony, we're going to be using our chief selects who have been recently selected to become chiefs in the United States Navy. So doing a retirement ceremony and uh, just happy to be a part. Doctor, why is this setting, the U.S., uh, the Virginia War Memorial, why is that such a, a perfect setting for a ceremony like this? I think, Greg, it, it goes to our mission, and that's to educate folks about, you know, what has happened in our past and why the conflicts are significant and the cost of those conflicts. Mm -hmm. And I think that something we've associated, a, a question that's been associated with 9-11 ever since then is, you know, uh, we'll never forget, in a statement, we'll never forget. Well, that's what the memorial is all about, is not forgetting. And having a place that people can come and learn about events and remember events, uh, I like to say we're in the business of remembrance at the War Memorial. And I don't think there's any better place for people that want to do something uh, to pay tribute to 9-11, to pay tribute to the first responders, to our military, to everything that uh, uh, has changed in America during those attacks. Uh, I can't think of a better place than the War Memorial to come and spend some time and, and dwell on it, learn about it, and be around others that have been affected by it. Chief, you've been down at the War Memorial. It's a very solemn place. It, it, it never grows tired when you get there, is it? No, it, it doesn't. Actually, um, with the, the facility, with the, uh, the members, you know, it's, it's always a great opportunity to come and reflect. We also have a very special guest speaker as well at this ceremony. We do. Uh, we have two speakers, uh, former Governor Jim Gilmore, um, who was governor of Virginia the day of the attacks, you know, obviously, and with uh, the attacks on the Pentagon up in Arlington, obviously meant a lot for the Commonwealth that day. And then we also have Marianne Wilson, our keynote speaker, who is a Richmonder, uh, who witnessed the attacks from just a few blocks away in downtown. She was a regional director of HUD uh, for New York and New Jersey the day of, and she saw it up close. And that's what we try and do with these uh, Patriot Day uh, events at the War Memorial, is tie in some eyewitness accounts, some people that were there and were uh, sharply affected by it, and they can tell their story. And that's what makes it uh, so valuable. And they're not just words that will be delivered. You have a special exhibit as well where people can get up close and personal physically to a piece of 9-11. And one of our newest exhibits is a section of the west uh, wall, a west wing of the Pentagon, right where the uh, aircraft impacted the Pentagon. And through work with the uh, Department of the Army and DOD and our War Memorial Foundation, we're able to secure a section of that, and it's on display now in the Undercroft Hall in the War Memorial. It's a fantastic um, uh, remembrance testament to that attack. A lot of people liken 9-11 to the JFK assassination. Never forget where you were. Randy, where were you on 9-11? Actually, I just recently had joined the Navy and going to training for my job. And, you know, like all everybody else, everything came to a halt and uh, being able to witness that. But, um, yeah, just starting in the Navy. So that was my uh, thing. welcome to the Navy. And stuck with you as well all these years. How about you, Doctor? I was... I was in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I was just starting graduate school. The Army had sent me to graduate school. And, um, and it was one of those, it was a surreal experience for me because I, I was uh, you know, in the Army, but I was watching it on TV just like everybody else. And uh, all my friends 
that I just left down at Fort Bragg were gearing up to respond to these attacks, and I just kind of saw it all play out from a distance um, at Duke University as a graduate student. But um, uh, in a way, it was uh, very useful for me to be in that environment because immediately I knew that um, what was going to happen from here on out was going to require a lot of uh, reflection, education, and, disc and dialogue you know, about you know, what this all meant. You know, the, the world had changed in one day. Well, it still means a lot. I mean, I have four friends that lost loved ones that day, so it, it hits close to home. So the, the message of the day is, is never forget and always remember. Absolutely. Doctor, thank you so much. And Randy, it's nice to see you. And I want to thank you both for serving our nation. Thanks, Greg. Thanks so thank much. We've got some information that. right here. The third annual Virginia Patriot Day ceremony will be held Sunday, September 11th at 2 o'clock in the E. Bruce Heilman Amphitheater at the Virginia War Memorial in Richmond. I strongly suggest you get down there if you've not been to the War Memorial. It is a solemn place that you will always remember.